Guys, this is Brian. You guys have been out for me on the just keep dropping it. If you hold it at this distance, you can hit me one. This is test number two. I think the camera lens is not wide enough. Let me get pretty close. We are having bun bao for breakfast. And for me, pizza bun. <laughs> yeah, the focus is focus on me. Focus on her. She and her. Me and her. Talk talk at normal. Check, check, one, two, check, check. No, talk at normal. Oh. Um, these bun bows were from KC Bun Bow in Orange County. They have two locations. They close around like 7 p.m. on certain days and other days like around 4 p.m. So they are kept in the okay, cold storage. And, uh, keep going. I just changed it for cold storage. And, um, it's pretty yummy. I kind of take off the, um, carb but just leave a little, like a thin layer just to enjoy, you know, the, the bow. You know, because like, I, I mean... It is a bun bao, so you kind of have to eat the bun bao with the carb. A little bit. Mmm. <laughs> Still good. It's been two days. They give you an option to either buy one that is to be eaten later or to be eaten now. So I think the ones that are eaten later, they kind of undercook it a little bit. So when you heat it up for 40 seconds, it'll be perfectly cooked. That's what I think. Unless they're giving me, like, the colder ones. <laughs> the unfresh ones, but uh, they still taste good. Love, love this place. Very small um, bun bows, and I like them. Some people complain that they're too small for the price, but I don't mind. I mean, they're cute. They're mini size and fun. So yeah, my breakfast. It's not that small, is it? It is small. Do you know a regular bun bow is three of these? Oh, I thought I'm talking about a thing on your face. You By do? the way. I asked Brian to like pop this pimple for me because it was hurting so bad and he was like, no, I don't want to damage your face. So I was like, fine, I'll do it myself. And stuff came out. I mean, it was very little, but stuff did come out three times, okay? You just got to let it out and now it doesn't hurt as much, okay? So <laughs> a couple of days and I'll be gone. And during this pregnancy, I know I keep saying that I have acne, but it's really my fault at the same time because I do um, pick at it a lot. That's the reason why the acne is there most of the time. If I just left it alone, I would just have a bumpy face. But I, I don't know, it just feels weird to me when my face is so bumpy and I know there's something in there, you know? You gotta clean it out. <sighs> in time, it'll heal. <laughs> okay, are you gonna mention the, your different camera? Oh! By the way, I was filming my um, clothing haul yesterday. Camera ran out of battery, so I tried to replace it. And when I tried to put it back on the tripod, I didn't want to move the location of the camera. So I just held the tripod down and tried to twist it, the camera in. And so it wasn't really twisting in, and I wasn't sure if it's like clockwise or un the other way. When I have nails on, for some reason, I can't function as as well. I just keep doing this or I, I go like this or when I dance, it's always like this. If you guys ever notice on my videos, it's always like this. So it's weird. If I cut my nails off, I can function and work with things better. But I was being a little, you know, extra with my nails and holding the camera like this and not really holding it steady. And it fell and broke. And so it's probably my sixth Sony <laughs> RX100 version 2 camera. And now um, we just ordered another one. It's so. version six. Version 6, my bad. Um, and uh, we're going to use this camera right here, which is um, a, another Sony, but it's much bigger. It doesn't have the mirrorless flip screen, so I'm not sure where I am in frame. So I, I don't know if I got my head cut off. I know when I continue to shoot my clothing haul, I cut off my forehead because I didn't know where I was um, you know, supposed to film. So this one is kind of difficult to figure out if you're in frame or not. But what camera is this, babe? It's an Alpha 6500. Yeah, Alpha. It's nicer. Volume is not as high as the uh, Sony RX100. It is. I just set it. It's oh, you fine. just set it up? I just set the volume. I was testing it because this is more manual controls. Mm -hmm. So this is a Alpha 6500. Yeah, I mean, I think I would use this one because it's a little bit more higher quality. But the problem is I can't really see where I am in frame. So yeah, and I think this is bigger and so I would hold on to it more than the smaller camera. The smaller camera is convenient, but at the same time, I, I'm so clumsy. So I felt like I should cut off my nails just to like, you know, 
be on point sometimes, but I feel like leaving it on, my husband loves it because he, he loves me scratching his back and scratching his head and for some reason during the second and third trimester, I'm super nice to my husband. <laughs> like, I don't know why and everyone says this to me too. Like, wow, you, you've changed. You're so nice to him. And I was like, first of all, I think I've always been nice to him in my brain. I always think, oh, yeah, but then everyone's like, no, you're you're like extra nice to him. And I'm like, maybe it's because I'm free of any like frustration in my my life, my um family. I just kind of cut everyone out. So now I feel a little bit more, I don't know. And now I just, um, happy. <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm nicer to him. Anyway, whatever it is, um, is, I'm nice, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna import so, this. Yeah. Sunday, fun day, another day for car wash. This is the um, waterless car wash. It's a no rinse. Yes, um, my bad. No rinse car wash right here. I'm just going to put the solution in. And then this other one right here, just water. Look at that. Almost three weeks and super dirty. This is not part of the process, but Brian wanted to make it extra um, wet to make sure that it's all completely uh, covered and uh, we can remove the stains easier. And it helps with uh, removing stuff inside as well. And just like that, back to brand new. Nice and clean, clean. Brian really likes this product, so I'm going to add this onto my Amazon storefront under the cars category. I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out, okay? Very nice. And very, very convenient as well. Here it is, my Amazon storefront. You can get the no rinse car wash here. It should be under the category cars. And once you click on that, you'll see these three. This is all you need the solution, the tire um, shiny thing where you spray and it just makes it shiny and then we have the microfiber towels. Check it out, I'll link it below in the description box. I added the buckets right here and this is very necessary. You put this in here to trap the dirt when you rinse the towels after wiping the cars with the solution. Okay, so there you have it. Doing the sheets right now, the laundry, the bed sheets, and I want to mention that this bed is a queen bed, but I always do this with all of my beds. If it's a queen bed, I buy king pillows. So obviously the bed sheets, they come with queen pillow covers. So what I do is take the pillow covers that are queen and put it on a twin bed. So every time you get a... <laughs> A bed that's smaller you upgrade to a bigger pillow I don't know for some reason I feel like it looks better it's more um, fluffier on the bed so that's the rule of thumb for me full bed you upgrade to a queen something like that and if it's a queen you upgrade to a king size pillow I also linked the pillow cases so you would have to buy the pillow cases separately put it onto these pillow cases these king pillow cases as for the king beds um, it's not a big deal to have king pillows on the king beds because I feel like it's not that wide. It's more longer and so that's why my bed doesn't look as, you know, off. Unless they have a X large king pillow, then I'll get it. But king on king is good, king on queen is good, queen on twin or full is good, and then baby pillows on, <laughs> on baby beds. I hope that makes sense. I'm just confusing myself as I'm saying this, but you guys get the idea. All right, so we're not using these queen pillowcases on these king pillows, okay? We're gonna take this and put it on a full bed or a twin bed. Alrighty, there's my tip, tip of the day. Also, another tip is that I double my comforter for extra fluffiness and it's very helpful and useful during the winter time during the summer time just use one and put the other one away so that's why it's um, much bigger and uh, very comfy here are the differences between the pillows i bought these separately this has um the flaps the design is more flappy it's um all the way around and over here it just has um these three stripes and these come with the bed sheets Okay, I like to put a lot of pillows on my um, bed 
just to hug and such so I don't really need to have a um, pregnancy pillow because I'll grab one of these wrap it around my body and call it a day this is also on my storefront check it out and uh, enjoy happy shopping good night guys I'm gonna go to sleep my back hurts so so bad Toodles.